Editing photos fast. That's what this video is about because today we have 15 minutes to edit this photo. Now we're staying in this Airbnb and we shot some photos earlier using a, a slow shutter effect. Now, if you've never seen this series before, the way this works is we have 15 minutes. I get a minute, you get a minute, and we go back and forth until this photo is completely done. So you can make as many changes as you want in that one minute, but as soon as that tool has been edited, you can't go back and undo it. You can only add more to it. Are you ready? Yes, go. First thing I'm gonna do, I guess it just makes sense to balance out the photo. Drop the highlights a little bit, raise the shadows, balance it out. I don't have a histogram here. Just we're using we're the regular use version of Lightroom, so. There we go. Done early? Like the basic adjustment, right? Can't <laughs> do much to it. All right, okay. swap. Okay, so you did the light. I'm gonna go down to white balance because I feel like it's too yellow. Let's just see what auto does. Actually auto, I think there's maybe a little tinge of green because the the uh, from the outside we were getting some. So it fixed that, it added more magenta. Because raw files tend to be a little bit desaturated, I'm actually gonna go, not crazy, because that looks terrible, just a little bit so that when we go down to these other HSL adjustments, we have more to play with. White balance is a good idea. I like how we have the fire going in the background. Can you see it? Looks pretty good. Okay. Right off the bat, I'm taking my favorite <laughs> panel. <laughs> color and grading? that's color grading. Oh, this is cheating. Color grading is like the last thing you should do, but. This is like my favorite thing. Adding I wanna moves. go for those like, not too purple and not too green. Kind of somewhere around there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get. Darken it, eh? Right off the bat. Drop it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into the highlights. Typically I like adding also blue. And then I'll go into the mid-tones and I'll just add a little bit of oranges. Oh yeah, solid. 10 seconds left, done early. Hold on one second. Blending, I'll bring the blending back a little bit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, what do I have? So I think I'm gonna go up to saturation because I wanna get rid of blues. There's not too much aqua. Man, that color grading really added a bunch of blues, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove these cool tones because this is like a warm tone photo. T sometimes magenta can be like lip, lip tones, but like I'm blurred out here. Greens, mm, let's desaturate them. Yellows, I'm just desaturated. I, I resaturated everything at the beginning and now I'm desaturating it. I do like the desaturated look. Reds, too much orange, just a little bit. Can I, how much time do I have left? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Are you adjusting no. the hue too? I'm not touching it, not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into tone curve. This is a, this is a big move. I'm actually going to raise black point a little bit. Create another point here and just drop this. Add some contrast. What's going on with your <laughs> trackpad? I don't know how some people edit with the trackpad. I'm always impressed when they do. Oh, really giving it that flat look, eh? Yeah. Tone curves plus color grading. It's like you have complete control over this photo. Five seconds. I don't like how much contrast there is now. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I think it looks good. That's done. Just a little bit of contrast. Okay, we have all these other curves here. I'm gonna go into the blue curve. See, you can really like wildly change it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of blue there. Little little tinge, bring that back. Maybe drop it to even it out. See, like we, we brought up, but then we brought it back. Before, <laughs> after, <laughs> turn that off. I don't know, do I like that much blue in the midtones? I did like a little bit of the warmth. Oh. That's what it is now. It's locked in. Oh my God. <laughs> the green That's channel, so the green channel wasn't touched. So if you <clears> wanted <throat> to touch the green, you could. Typically, if I'm doing anything in the green. Wow. I am just dropping like the shadows. Pro tip, because this photo has a lot of gray tones with like the window mullions and the concrete floor. You can see how when Stefano was pushing and pulling, especially on that midpoint, that you can add either a lot of magenta or a lot of green to this photo, like really easily. Did we ruin this photo? Is what I want to know. Add some magenta. Four seconds. Into the blacks. I think we're good. Okay. I fixed your what you did. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's this new point color. Do I try it? What do I do? What do I do? Do I, <laughs> do I select the greens? Okay, let's see. Oh, interesting. I really like the user interface on this new point color. It's kind of like a 
hue and saturation adjustment taken to the extreme. And in this case, it kind of, I can really subdue some of those green tones more than I would have with just the HSL. And even when you say visualize range, it's like, oh, I see what I'm picking here. I need more than a minute to adjust this. Oh this, shoot, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. This one's super powerful. Yeah. What is left? We got lots. You can add effects, sharpness. Do I want to waste my turn on sharpness? Do it. <laughs> Typically I leave it at the 40 until I make my masking adjustment. What a waste of a turn. What if you drag? Oh, oh there, there you go. go. Okay. okay. <laughs> so if you hold option on your keyboard, you can actually see what's being masked. That's like where your sharpness is actually being applied to. I mean, what's our focus in this photo? This, Basically everything. Yeah, I mean, it's the scale, like you're looking at the, some of the wood textures on there. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. We spent our whole time explaining it, not actually <laughs> adjusting it. I'm gonna jump into some masking. Linear gradient. Dark in the corner? Mm. Ah! I'm gonna do a radio gradient over here. Yes. And I'm gonna make it as big as I can before it hits my subject. It's so hard to do this with the trackpad. Dehaze, opposite dehaze, a little bit, little bit lot lower in the clarity. Dropping the texture helps remove some of that detail so it's not super distracting. And then- I'm done. Dehaze, clarity, and texture almost makes like a, like a glow. Effect. Yeah, you can, you can combine them for some really interesting contrast. Okay, effects. I might create a mask. Do it. I you was thinking I was thinking something like this, right? But I don't know if it's gonna look good and I might redo it. Mm. Just add like a lot more contrast in it, but I kind of like that I you're like walking the into the floor. bright. I like the brighter floor. This is a test, okay? Do it. Just just a little, just a little, maybe even a little, a little bit of clarity on Feather it. it a little bit, drop it down a little bit. Our minds have merged. We are now editing the same. <laughs> I, I like kind of like it. Yeah, yeah. How you kind of pop. What if, what if you even do, oh, bro. Before, after. Okay. I like it. Here you go. Take the fork. I'm gonna do a saturation brush, actually. Just a little, like not not too much. I don't know what else I wanna do. That was the only thing. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just darken this corner. You know, it's kind of like a vignette, but not. Just like we're dodging and burning. Yeah, just add just, some. Just a little bit. Do I do, do I do a, this and I do a negative clarity? Where's the clarity? There's so many new features now. <laughs> negative clarity, negative texture. Just like, like nothing, just nothing. Okay. We're, we're almost at time. I've been looking at this photo, and for some weird reason, the colors are looking off. We have the H. We like have this HSLs area here. We haven't touched hues and luminance still. Just the oranges. I wonder if I bring the oranges. Oh, these are the reds. Can I make them just a tad more? I just want like a lot more orange. You know what I mean? Instead I of like a yellowish orange. There you go. Yeah. That let's says do it. fall. Blues don't do nothing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> This actually is looking really good. Like, <laughs> like the before, the before and the after, and the after it's, it's incredible. I think we got like calibration. Oh, that's like my favorite. Effects, we didn't touch the global effects. Like we could go, whoa, not that. I feel like texture maybe. Or you're dropping the clarity. I don't know. I sometimes feel like if you're doing like anything other than portraits. Okay. Maybe not landscapes, but anything other than that, oh, like shoot, real estate or I something. I kind of like a clarity. Oh yeah. shoot, I want to do radio. What's going on here? Oh no. What? Is okay, this radio, doing? invert. Nice. That's little what I yet. wanted to do, That's and perfect. it was messing up on me. Okay. What is left? Calibration? Calibration yes, is all the way at the bottom. Mind you, we still have the red tone curve, the red channel. No. This version of Lightroom doesn't have calibration. Oh, I remember that. So no calibration in Lightroom. No calibration. Lightroom regular. I don't know. Maybe just play around with this. I think this is Add your last Add some move. teal into the Oh. It could ruin the entire photo, or maybe oh. up. What if you just, oh. Something subtle, bring this up. I kind of like it. Do we crop it? Nice crop. Just that, just a little. Just to just, center. Just to center. Is it perfectly? Level? Level. This it's was pretty. a tripod shot, and we leveled it before we did it. Bam. What do we think? So let's look at before. Holy <laughs> <God>. <laughs> So <laughs> funny, what happened? Uh, it's, it's a combination of the white balance, and the greens outside. There's a so lot of green tint. This is obviously shot in the fall. Actually, it's really fun. Like this honestly could be a preset. So if you wanna edit your photos faster, <laughs> check out my Lightroom presets linked down in the description. You just launched your ethereal preset pack, which of course Stefano likes to edit portraits. He does portrait shoots. My presets aren't necessarily designed for portraits yet. But maybe if you're looking for some landscapes, some city shots, some portraits, some lifestyle shots, check those out if you want to support either of us. Thanks for watching. And until the next one, go, go shoot, shoot photos. photos. <laughs> Look Boom. at that edit, eh?